I figured I'd talk about a pretty old release today, and I'm going to talk about the screenplay DVD release from Troma Entertainment, which I hope eventually this leads to a Blu-ray release for this film, because it's a very stylish thing that uh, I think a HD transfer would really bring out. Not that it doesn't look good as it is. I mean, this is a full-screen, you know, roughish-looking movie, but you can still see that the settings and whatnot are very, very good and I imagine they would look better if you had an HD copy. If you've never seen this, this good old boy named Edgar Allen comes to Hollywood with hopes and dreams of uh, becoming a big screen, you know, a big uh, screenplay writer. He gets in town, you know, he's got his, he's got his uh, typewriter, it's almost a keyboard, he's got his typewriter with him and he's bringing it out everywhere, he meets like a producer, he kind of gives him a number, but kind of brushes him off, he kind of gets in a jam, which ends him up, uh, as kind of like a, a handyman at like a hotel sort of apartment complex thing. It's really weird, but but it looks really good. Like, it, it's a very odd film in a lot of ways. It's it's a trauma movie, but it doesn't really have all those type of trauma elements that you're used to. It's visually bizarre, yet satisfying, if that makes sense to you. It, it just, it's black and white, but, but it looks really cool, is what I'm trying to say. And, uh... The plot is interesting because it turns into a bit of a whodunit because he really gets into his work, he really gets into the screenplay that he's writing, but then there's a whole bunch of really, uh, I guess you say, shady characters. It's in the uh, housing situation that he's in there, and it kind of gets to a point when people start dropping that you don't know if it's uh, our boy here or if it's somebody else because he does seem to get pretty caught up in what he's doing, but then again, everybody there kind of seems to be off the rocker one way or another. And it, it's it's good. I mean, I picked this thing up. This was cheap. It's like a $4 uh, DVD that I found on eBay. I've been wanting to check it out for a long, long time since I am a big fan of Troma. And this was one of the more prominent titles that I've heard about that I had not seen. Uh, like I said, 4 bucks. So it, it's worth every penny of that. It's worth more than that, I think. And uh, even though it's got that, you know, cheapish look that a lot of early Troma DVDs have, even if this one, it may not even be that early of a release, but it, it, it kind of just, it has that trauma vibe to it. You know what I'm talking about, like their DVD things, where it's crammed full of extras, some good, some of them the very same extras that trauma seems to want to toss on everything, the traumatic extras. Uh, very underrated trauma movie. Like, I compiled a list on the website a few years ago of, of top ten trauma movies, and if I had seen this before I made that list, I probably would have found a spot for it. Uh, it wouldn't knock, you know, Toxic Avenger or Father's Day or anything like that off the top of the list, but it would have made the list nonetheless. Uh, your extras on this DVD include a commentary by screenplay director Rufus B. Cedar, who I think never directed anything else. I think he actually does some kind of weird art stuff that's actually, I mean, it's cool, but it's weird, and, and it's on here, which I would not expect anything less than cool and weird from the person that made a movie like this. Uh, feature on Rufus B. Cedar's Revolutionary Life Tiles Art Technique, which is what I'm trying to talk about. A special introduction by Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma, the creator of the Toxic Avenger, which it says a special introduction. I'm pretty sure it's the same introduction that 90% of these have, where it's him and uh, Debbie Rashawn kind of doing the thing where they cover their mouth when they're going to name the director, and then they just voice it in. I'm sure you've seen it if you have any Troma DVDs. Uh, Troma Tick traumatic, I should say. The adequate trailer for Tales from the Cracker, Make Your Own Damn Movie Film School in a Box. I own that, by the way. That's pretty neat. I actually have the book, too. I'm actually reading. An intriguing and informative interview with Hollywood legend and underground director Vincent Sherman all through the night. Mr. Skiffington? Never seen those. A special tribute to Rue Morg Magazine and more. So it's pretty packed. It's trauma DVDs tend to be that way. It's a very interesting and bizarre film. It's original, though, and very fun to watch. Um... I don't want to say it's, it's a lot like The Forbidden Zone, but it seems to have kind of like, maybe it's not in the same league, but it's kind of like the same sport, going by the looks of it and the style of it. I don't think uh, there's much, you know, much out there like this, honestly. So, if you've never seen Screenplay, it's cheap wherever you find it, I'm sure. So, so pick this up and give it a watch, and tell me what you think about it if you've not seen it, because I think it's underrated, and... Uh, Maybe maybe we'll get a Blu-ray sooner or later because I think it definitely deserves one.